Hello, GED students. It's GED question of the daytime. Um, one of the skills that you will be asked to do on the GED math test, um, I am fairly certain, I would almost bet money you'll be asked to do this. Um, it's uh, super important algebra skill, and uh, it appears on those list of uh, problems that the GED says is fair game. So you'll probably be asked to translate some English into the language of algebra. Now you might be writing expressions, equations, inequalities. You know, we have different kinds of things that we can write in algebra, but it's still that same skill, direct translation, English to algebra. Okay, so let's take a look at this particular problem where we've been asked to translate algebraic expressions. So it says, match each phrase below. Oh, these are our English phrases. Oh, I need my writing tool. So match each phrase below. Here are our phrases to an appropriate algebraic expression on the right. And here are some algebraic expressions. Okay, so all we have to do is translate. Should be easy, right? <laughs> Let's take a look. So A says five less than twice a number M five less than twice a number m. So let's think about this. There's a tricky thing about this little phrase less than, by the way, guys. Like if I said that my brother was five years, uh, had five years less than I did, or he was five years younger than I was, um, or he had five, maybe it's easier if I said he had five dollars less than I did. A lot of students mix that up. They say, well, you would have to take a five and you'd have to subtract out his money from that. And I'm like, well, no, not really, because we're going to start with his money and we want five less than that. Be really careful. When you say less than, you're actually going to subtract this thing. So five less than means subtract five from something. But I don't know what the something is yet. So let's keep reading. It's five less than twice a number M. Twice. What does twice mean? Twice means twice as much or two times as much. So if I wanted twice a number M, I would have to go to times m. So I have twice the number m, but I want five less than that. I'm going to have to start with my twice m, my twice m, and subtract five to have five less than that. So a, five less than twice the number m, I could write that as 2m minus five. So nice. Let me just erase this so you can see the minus sign on it. So 2m minus five. Now let's take a look at the next one. b. b says two times the quantity. I want you to pay attention to quantity because quantity means all. So two times the quantity of a number m minus five. So now a lot of students tell me, no, that should be four, Kate. Look, two times the quantity of a number m minus five, that should be four, but careful. This quantity means I want to multiply that two by everything that follows. So I have to use parentheses to signal that. Two times the quantity of a number m minus 5. And that's that one. Because of that quantity, that wording right there, I have got to open up parentheses. Uh, let's look at the next one, which works similarly. C. C says twice the sum of a number m and 5. Twice. Look, it doesn't say twice a number. It says twice the sum of a number m and 5. Remember what sum means. It means the answer when you add or an entire addition problem. So if I want to have twice of the answer when I add or the entire addition problem, again, similarly, I'm going to have to use parentheses. So twice the sum of a number m and 5. And again, we said sum means the answer when you add. So I'm going to have to add m and 5. Okay. And so c has got to match with number 1 twice the sum of a number m and 5. Okay, so I, I hope d matches with 3. Let's make sure. So um, d says 2 less than 5 times a number m. Again, 2 less than means I'm going to have to subtract 2 from whatever the rest of the problem says. So what does the rest of the problem say? It says 5 times a number m, 5 times m. So yes, of course, I there's my 5m and there's 2 less than that. There's 2 less than 5 times a number m. d certainly does match with three. So let's just write out our answers here so we're clear. A matches with four. B matches with two. 
C matches with, ooh, oh, I can't even read my own handwriting. Oh yeah, it was one. <laughs> and D does indeed match with three. Great, tricky, tricky, tricky. Translating phrases into algebraic expressions. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'd love to get a chance to try to answer your questions.